Hello lovelies! I recently made a video where I spoke about goals that you can achieve in 2016. And most of the things that I spoke about were about being happy and living your life to the full. I've already pretty much broken all my resolutions and I haven't achieved many of the goals. Long story short, I've decided that I need to rebrand this situation and dig a little deeper. Instead of goals and things that we should achieve, I'm going with things that you should give up for good in order to help you achieve the goals that you set out to do those goals. <laughs> Who are we kidding really? So anyway, here are things that I think that we should all give up for good in 2016 so that we can live happier and healthier and just greater lives and achieve all the things that we want to do in life. Yay! So the first one, let me just wipe the sweat before I get into it, sorry. Self-defeating talk. I think we have to give that up. I think that we've got to stop looking at all the mistakes that we've made and dwelling on our insecurities. Chances are we all have a lot to give the world and if you're focusing on the negative you're never gonna actually realize your potential. So stop putting yourself down and start celebrating yourself a little and see where you can go from there. Give up letting your thoughts about things worry you. For example, I cannot for the life of me pick up a phone and call a stranger. What if he asks me this and I don't know how to respond? Or what if there is a, a, a long pause and it's awkward? <laughs> Three days later, I finally pick the phone up and I have a very chilled conversation and I'm like, that was easy. I should have done that three days ago. So let's give up letting our thoughts get in the way of things because our thoughts are not reality. And expectation versus reality are two completely different things and we've got to make that connection. This one is something that we are all victims of. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right way to put it. Often we do worry about what others think of us. And I keep touching this area here because I'm you know, worrying about what you might think about my sweat massage. <laughs> I just said massage when I was meant to say moustache. Okay, right. I'm just gonna stop worrying about what you guys think because chances are you don't actually care. When you're worried about what other people are thinking, they're just probably thinking about themselves or worrying about what others think of them. If you really wanna wear that awesome skirt, do it. Don't worry that maybe someone's gonna think it's weird because then if you don't wear it, you don't know how cool you might look. So. You get the gist. It's the most liberating thing in the world, actually, just just letting go of, of what you think people are thinking. And I shall do so too. I'm gonna stop worrying about what people think of me. <sighs> now this one isn't as easy to give up. In fact, none of these are that easy to give up, but I think this one is particularly hard, and that's giving up things that cause you pain. I don't know why we all cling on to stuff that causes us pain quite a lot of the time. Maybe it's an emotional attachment, a relationship or a friendship or a lifestyle choice that you're making. Once you realize that it's not good for you and that it is causing you pain, then you've got to take that next step. And that usually takes confrontation, usually with another person and also with yourself because sometimes you have to sit down and tell yourself that you need to stop doing a certain thing and. Sometimes it can be hard and there are all sorts of reasons why, you know, you do what you do and it's hard to stop yourself from doing stuff. You know, we don't live for that long. Um, it might seem like the world just goes on and on and that your life seems endless. I don't know. I think life is too short to be wasting your time in pain when you don't have to be. I mean, there are so many awful things that, that, that could potentially happen one day. I don't want to sound cynical pointing out like horrible stuff, <laughs> but when you have the chance to be happy and not be in pain, take that. Because you don't want to one day be sitting in pain force, forcefully, like you're, you're ill or something, and you think back to the days when you were allowing all this pain to be in your life and you could have stopped it. Wow. I don't know if this got a little bit too deep. Please let me know if I should sort of come up to the surface again. <laughs> I did say that I wanted this video to be slightly more deep. I felt like the resolutions video was a little bit too like airy fairy. So let me know what you think. The next thing we need to stop doing is being so vain. I keep looking at myself in this in this thingy thing and I'm like, oh, is my hair okay? And it's all just thinking about myself and what I look like. I'm not going any further than myself right now. It can be changed and you can step out of yourself now and again and it's really really good for you as well. For example when I was just out of university I feel like I was a bit vain. Vain in the way that I was just thinking about myself and what I was doing and what I looked like and everything was surface surface and also I was worried about what I was going to do with my life and me 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 me. I got this opportunity to go out into the wilderness I say um, 
I mean that figuratively. I, I left my flat. I got to do some charity work. I worked in orphanages and underprivileged schools and I just did some cool stuff. When I got home from days like that, I would feel rejuvenated and energized and ready to take on the world. And I realized that I, I didn't go on Instagram the entire day and I didn't look at myself in the mirror and I felt incredible. And this is something that I think we all need to do because the surface situation, like it doesn't get you very far in life. The next one is attachment. Learn to let go of possessions, guys. It's like a circle of life. Things come in and things must go out. And if you get too attached to things, you're going to be disappointed because things break and things get lost and things get stolen and things stop working and things are just things, nothing more. And I know it's hard, especially like on YouTube when people show you what they got for Christmas and they're doing their favorites and their hauls and all that, you know, you do feel like you really want that stuff. It's just like, that's gonna make me happy. And then you go out and buy it and it doesn't. Um, and that's disappointing. So once you realize that things will not equal happiness, I think you'll be quite liberated. And obviously you need things. I'm not saying that you get rid of everything and live like a hermit, even though that could be nice, I guess. Get things when you need them and just sort of be sensible about it and, and don't let it rule your life. Don't let possessions control you. That ain't gonna be good and that's gonna be expensive too. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> the final one is also a really tough one and that is to let go of anger. Now anger is a really interesting thing. Anger is actually just you protecting yourself from pain. And often if you express anger to somebody else, it's very hard for you to get through to them because they're often going to be in a position of wanting to defend themselves and your anger is probably gonna get in the way of what you're actually feeling inside because you're like go red in the face and stuff so a thing to do because we all get angry and it's not like I'm telling you never get angry again I'm saying when you do get angry to sort of let it go in such a way that you go into your room and like punch your pillow or go for a run because after that you will instantly feel less angry and then once you've let off some steam and if you still feel like you want to confront a person or explain to somebody what happened, you know, like in a less angry way, you can do so. And chances are that person is going to be able to understand you better and is going to find you really mature as well. Like well done for, for not acting on that anger in the beginning. Because you can make a lot of mistakes when, you, when you're really angry. And <laughs> just a really weird example from my childhood, like whenever Casper and I used to fight, well, not whenever, but there was a phase when Casper and I used to fight and like we'd get, I'd get so angry at him that I would sort of grab a bit of his flesh and just like pinch it. I don't know if you've ever done that to a sibling. I think it's awful and I used to do it, but the second I took my hand away, I felt terrible. And that wasn't the way I wanted to express my anger towards him whatsoever. I just, it just came out like that and I should have turned away and been like, ah, okay, I'm just going to go do something now and I'll come back and I'll explain Casper what you were doing or just yeah I hope you get what I mean so let's let's do that now let's just be less less sort of crazily angry and more like modest about our anger I think above and beyond you need to just accept yourself for who you are I think that's mainly what I was trying to say throughout this entire video and I think if you achieve that even if you get slightly closer to accepting yourself, maybe you haven't fully accepted yourself, but you're, you're kind of a bit better friends with yourself this year, then I think that is incredible. And I think you're gonna have a great 2016. And I'm sure there are loads of other things that you think we should give up because wow, we need to give up a lot in this world. Um, so please let me know in a comment below what you wanna give up for good. And if you wanna tweet me, use the hashtag and give up for good and I'll totally find it and totally reply. I'd love to chat to you. Have a wonderful whatever you're doing. <laughs> Just have a wonderful. Um, see you soon. Lots of love. Bye.